Excel. Let's use the Excel to find the chi-square goodness of fit test. So while chi-square goodness of fit test, the distribution will be given and of course observed value is going to be given or frequency is going to be given. Now what is the distribution? Let's have a little bit background information. Let's assume the distribution of fishes. So you know in the summertime we go fishing especially in lake and pond. So what happened on those lake and pond the fur department and mineral department they actually stock some fishes so that you can go and fish and enjoy the quality of time, quality time with your family. So the fish they stock it that's beautiful this is North America you know they do this it's amazing and I use that opportunity actually I fish in the summer. So now the catfish 25% the distribution in Lake Hempstead in North you know New I mean Nassau County in Long Island so 25% it can be decimal 0.25 or it can be like percentage with just 25 without a symbol that is still is distribution. So, or it can be decimal, three decimal places. Any way you see this can be relative frequency or it can be relative percentage or whatever you see this is distribution. Best 20%, bluegill 15%, fight 8%, first 32%. So these are distribution. Now, Fire department want to see that after five years, what happened? Is the distribution still the same or distribution is different? Is it fits the data or doesn't fit the data? So, well, they took a sample actually. So, 211 all together, these are the sample. We can add this up. Actually, let's add this up. It's going to be helpful in order to find the expected value. So, I'm going to put down here n is equal to that. n is the sample size. n is the sample size. And add this up. So, I'm going to press equal sign and of course s just type in s you're going to see the function is going to pop up s sum so now what you are adding up so you hold it click hold and drag down and release and enter 917 all together sample the total sample size now what are the expected so expected is going to be i'm going to put equal sign expected is sample size times the relative frequency or percentage so you know I just want to have this one down here enter and in it from your keyboard you use the multiplication sign and of course you know just select this enter that's 229.3 okay so I don't know is there any decimal places yeah there are sounds like more decimal places actually okay all right just two decimal places as you see next thing I'm going to do this second one. So how do you do that? Well, you can actually even do this way actually. It doesn't matter. Multiplication order doesn't matter. And of course times this, enter. So we have 183.4. And obviously, I'm going to do the next one. So 15% times total sample size, enter. And of course, I can do the next one here. Of course, I have to press equal sign. So 8% times 917, enter. And of course, finally, I need... 32% and times this one. Make sure it's highlighted actually. So if you double click it, you see which one you're multiplying. If you double click each of them, you see which one you're multiplying though. Make sure it's row is matching. Otherwise your answer may end up wrong. So well, of course I have to erase this here. Expected frequency here. Okay, so now next we move into the fee value. P B L U P value, which is a probabilitical value, which is a probabilitical value. So how do you find the probabilitical value? Probabilitical value, we press the equal sign, and of course we type in C. Once we see the C, now we're gonna do chi square dot test. Chi square dot test. Now you're gonna do actual. Well, you're gonna select the actual. So what are the actual? These are the actual, which is observed, actual, comma, the expected frequency and enter so this is the fee value comes to play as you see this is the fee value and with this fee value we can actually construct a hypothesis test okay test statistics good now how do you find the test statistics again equal to type in c for cat and of course we do inverse because probability value is given now we do inverse chi squared inverse chi squared inverse rt once we do that, they said probability. So I choose this one, comma, degree of freedom. Well, how many categories are here? Degree of freedom is one, two, three, four, five. Five minus one is four. Four 
for enter so that is my test statistics as you see so we have our p value we have the test statistics now we are ready to construct hypothesis test. our chi square distribution well of course which is on the left side down here we have our p value we have our test statistics now then we are ready to actually find the five step or construct five step statistics of constructing chi square goodness of sweet test with five percent significant level which is 95 percent confidence level that will give us 0 0.05 as alpha so it depends or it's usually one percent or five percent we see on a goodness of fit test so the first thing with this step this is the basic five step five step one all an alternative step two test statistic step three is p value step four is decision step five is conclusion and of course notice that i have something to the right side here so that is going to be fee value and this is going to be critical value no matter which way you use is going to give you the same rejection or decision actually so let's do step one so step one whether the distribution the amount of fish or the stock on the leg state is the same or well, i would say definitely same so that's the null hypothesis right or you're going to say they're different so that move into test statistics so what is the test statistics test statistics is we already found which is a 10.836 well i'm going to write it down here also 10.836 p-value i got it on excel which gave us 0 0.028 and obviously we are going to actually use the p-value and compare with the alpha level so let's take a look here this is the alpha level we're going to have alpha is going to be 0 0.05 significant level so that's the alpha and once we have our alpha i can just show you visually here so that would be our p value let's put down this is a p value 0 0.028 and alpha is 0 0.05 0 0.05 so that's the alpha now the definition says is phi value well obviously which one is smaller obviously this is smaller and that is bigger in other words phi is less than or equal i shouldn't well the definition says if phi value is less than or equal to alpha we reject the null hypothesis we are rejecting the null hypothesis because phi value is less than alpha so as we see that's less than alpha sometimes we can actually uh, put this one as a down here this one we can use a decimal i mean we can round it up actually it's going to be 0 0.03 still is less than 0 0.05 it's roughly close to three percent and this is a five percent okay that's the fee value and of course this is the test statistics 10.836 so obviously we reject a null hypothesis threshold is five percent but our fee value gave us little less than three percent so that's the p-value approach we see because p-value is less than the alpha we reject the null hypothesis so that's the rejection three and four we can come up with the same time now if you look into the critical value approach of course we need something called degree of freedom remember if i show you the critical value approach that means we need the chi-square table so chi-square table notice that we have a degree of freedom and this is the alpha level so of course how do we find the degree of freedom so degree of freedom is going to be df is going to be c minus one in other words c is stands for category how many category we have so if you look into here to the left side we have one category two three four five categories so five minus one so we're going to go four degree of freedom we're going to go four degree of freedom and obviously we're going to go 0 0.05 that is important also 0 0.05 so alpha level this time is very important both of them 0 0.05 so the alpha and the degree of freedom is very important down here so what is the alpha so if i look into this one that's 0 0.05 and of course the degree of freedom so what is the intersection intersection is this down here so as we see that is the intersection so this is the number we are looking for so this is the critical value 
okay so this is the critical value 9.488 so that's the 9.488 critical value and of course obviously our test is 10.836 so it's outside so therefore we reject the null hypothesis anything outside of the critical value it's a standard for any hypothesis test any, anything outside of the rejection area or critical reason we just reject the null hypothesis now let's move into conclusion so what is the conclusion it's going to be so conclusion is going to be at 5% so let's take a look at 5% significant level there is a sufficient evidence to conclude that the lake mustard is different than it was years ago so we're rejecting the null hypothesis we are saying no it doesn't work so that is a difference between the distribution in five years or certain years whatever years it is different now the test actually gave us the intuition that they are different so this is basically five step hypothesis test of chi square goodness of three test by using the excel and of course this part is simple it doesn't matter you use excel or not the constructing the goodness of fit test is always the same thing thank you